Yeah, if you're lucky enough to have a 2008 vehicle, we saw how easy it is to get connected to the CAN bus. Yes. Now, let's say you're working on an older vehicle, maybe something 20 years older, maybe a, a 1988 Starion, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and you're getting like zero data, there's no way to log it, What's my solution? There's a couple paths of entry, um, and, and this applies not just to the Starion, but mm -hmm. any vehicle that, that doesn't have OBD2 CAN. Those are our CAN converter modules, or our CAN sensor modules. Mm -hmm. We make two of them. We're gonna start with the little guy. This is our six channel CAN sensor module. This is a great module because it adds two pressure two temperatures, it adds RPM, and it adds fuel level. It's got the basic stuff. Right. Very popular with our hot rod guys. Gotcha, They gotcha. have a digital dash. They okay. like Well, this I've one. got more problems than that with the Starion. I've got more to figure <laughs> out, so what's my solution? <laughs> we got something for you okay, here. Okay, good, good. Uh, this is a larger version of this. This is our 22-channel CAN sensor right. module, and I'm not gonna go into the litany of various temperatures and pressures. What I will tell you is it brings in a lot of analog zero to five volt mm -hmm, channels. Mm -hmm. It has selectable 0 to 5 and 0 to 16 uh, 0.5 volts, so you can do thermistor or your typical analogs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it also does RPM, it does fuel level. It's giving you 22 channels of data. Right. So that's all gonna come in to this 36 pin packer connector and all of that data is going to be output to the dash uh, by plugging this connection into the AEM net can connection on your main harness for your CD5 or CD7 carbon dash. This is populated, so your wires will come out here, sensors coming in here, one plug connection out to your dash. If you happen to need more than 22, <laughs> we can help you with that. Okay, what's the solution there? <laughs> you can daisy chain two of these. Like our other devices, like our eight channel K-Type EGT CAN module, mm -hmm. um, you can take and flip a resistor on this and it has two unique IDs on it and you can double your channel output from 22 to 44. The other thing you can do is if you start simple with the basics, you can expand from six channels and add another 22 channels later on. It's quite powerful, it's a great way to get onto the system, onto that CAN bus, if you've got an earlier vehicle, and we're excited to use it because that is what we are lacking on that car. <laughs> well, we're gonna take care of that for you with this module, and like I said, in the event you need it, <laughs> we have expandability built in for you. Well, to be honest with you, I think we're gonna eventually go to a standalone. There's almost only so much we can do with that 1988 <laughs> technology. But when we do, uh, it, it'll, be, it'll be neat because a lot of what we've already done, the sensors and everything else, are still gonna be what we need. And we might even d decide to just leave this in place and mm -hmm. take all that information across the can since it's already there. You definitely can. And um, that's another great thing about the open architecture of the CD7 and CD5 carbon dashes. What I mean by open architecture is that this obviously isn't designed to only work with AEM CAN mm. products. Uh, we have it working with OBD2 CAN from stock ECUs. Mm -hmm. We have also tested it to work with over 250 non-AEM devices. So right. Haltech, Motec, Link, Adaptronic, Holly, <laughs> Big Stuff 3 Gen 4, Mtron. Even ECU some of the companies Master, that didn't like, want you to do that, right? Quite possibly, but, <laughs> um, you know, in, in our forum, we list everything. If you go into our forum and into our, mm. our CD Carbon Dash section, you can see all the third-party non-AEM CAN devices that we know we're sure we support. Realistically, as long as you have, without you know getting overly geeky, but the DBC, C protocol is, is essentially what how the, the message is transmitted. Mm. If you have that information from a CAN device, you can take that data from another device that we haven't tested or validated, put it into our software, and odds are it's gonna communicate with the dash. The neat thing about CAN, as we talked before, if I've already got a CAN compatible ECU, what's my connection to this dash? One plug connection. One plug That's connection. Beauty. Yeah, we even make some plug and play adapter cables. Okay, so now we've got an idea of how to connect basically any vehicle to a CAN bus. Now let's take a look at some of those modules that we can have on there and what they can do for us. For sure, yeah, there's really no limitations. If you want one of these, we've got a way to make it connect for you.